Let's continue our math adventure. You know that proportions in math can help us find unknown lengths of sides in similar figures. Well, today we're going to work with scale drawings, which are also a type of similar figure. Now, the scale drawing can either be an enlarged drawing or a reduced drawing. It doesn't really matter. We can still use proportions for that. Now, the scale drawing is just a two-dimensional figure versus a scale model is a three-dimensional figure. And we can use the same concept whether it's a drawing or a model. Now what's important here is the word scale. And when we take a look at a scale, if we had a scale of 1 to, to 50, that's a ratio. It's a comparison of two things. And I know, because there's no units of measure with that, that one unit on the drawing has to equal 50 units in real life. And I can just say units if they haven't given me an exact measurement. Now, when I do this, I cannot compare different units of measure. I could never compare one centimeter is to two meters. What I would have to do, um, if I was going to write that without units, is I'd have to change them into the same unit of measure. If I kept my units there, it's okay. But if I don't keep my units there, then I need to, to write them in the same ones. So if I had one inch is to 28 yards. All right, I can keep that as that ratio. But if I want to write it without units, I need to compare inches to inches. That's the only way that I'm going to be able to do that. So my one I'm going to keep as the same. So one inch and one inch. So what has to change is this bottom figure. So I need to convert 28 yards into inches. So first I think of my conversions. Well, I know there's three feet in every one yard, and I know there's 12 inches in every one foot. So that means for each yard, there's 36 inches. So I need to go and I need to multiply 28 by 36. And when I do that, I get 1,008. If I now have inches compared to inches, then I can go and write it without units of measure. Uh, 1 is to 1,008. That's the only way I'm going to be able to do that. So you're guaranteed if there are no units of measure, then you know they have to be the same units. So same thing here. If I had 1 inch to 4 feet and I want to write it without units, then I need to change that 4 feet into inches. And I know that for every foot, there's 12 inches. So I'm going to multiply by 12. So I get 48 inches for those 4 feet. So then I can write it as 1 is to 48. Now, it doesn't mean we never work with, with um, ratios that are not different uh, units of measure. So I can have 1 cent centimeter is to 5 kilometers. It simply means on my, my map, if I measure out 1 centimeter on the map, it's equal to 5 kilometers in real life. So you can have different units of measure. I just would need to write those units of measure. Well, what if I wanted to know, well, if I know one centimeter is five kilometers, how much is six centimeters? Well, this is where I go back and I use proportions. And so we know that we can use cross products. So I know five times six is equal to one times x. Because cross products always solve proportions. So I know that 30 is equal to one x, and I would just write 30 equals x. So that I, I know that 6 centimeters then on the map is equal to 30 kilometers in real life for that. So we're just building on what we learned before in the past. We're just applying it to scale drawings. Nothing really changes the way that we work with the proportions. The only thing you have to remember is the only way we can write uh, a ratio without using any units in the scale is by making sure that the units are the same units of measure. And so the added thing you're doing today is doing those conversions. I think you're up for the challenge. Good luck.